So let me run the demo file first. And here you can see it is saying this is a demo file. Okay. This should display relatively quickly. Okay, nice. So you can see here, uh, I think you are getting an idea that what this video is all about and what this typewriter plugin is all about. And uh, yeah, basically it types. You give it an input, it types it out on the CMD console. It gives you a typing effect, which can make your help menus or other uh, information that you want to display on the console screen uh, it will become more interactive so okay one second delay was very big I'll say and demonstration is finished so let's talk about it a bit hello there Karan here and in this video we are going to talk about the plugin named as typewriter created by Zeke uh, it's an amazing plugin it gives uh, quite an interactive uh, output on the CMD console you guys have seen uh, the demo of it already so I will show you uh, quickly how to use it so first of all I'll make uh, the color into a hacker theme <laughs> hacker theme yeah I said that so I'll make it a green console green color on black one black background so turn let me turn the echo off so that everything is clean now let's see how to use typewriter plugin. So typewriter slash question mark. Okay, awesome. So you can see there is a help menu. It says typewriter by Zeke. And how to use it is you need to call the typewriter. Then you need to give a string and the time. Uh, how much delay you want in each character so there's an example as well so let's try the example directly isn't it and here's a small description it says it's a simple program that prints each character in string one at a time with a delay of n milliseconds okay that's pretty much nice so let's let me right click paste so instead of getting a hundred uh, one second uh, delay i'll make it 100 milliseconds one tenth of a second so let's enter it awesome so you can see it gave a uh, very nice uh, animation kind of stuff uh, like you can give a typing effect which is amazing awesome and yeah that's pretty much all i think this is very simple and uh, very nice plugin let's look at the source code first or the last and i'll open it with notepad plus plus Awesome. So here you can see uh, Zeke has mentioned all, also that he is using Windows GCC 64 bit, which is a great, uh, great thing to know because he is letting us know that what tools he is using to get the plugin uh, or compile the plugin from C code. And this is a sign of a nice, uh, I'll say, an intelligent programmer who does not assume stuff, instead, he mentions it. Uh, what he's using and what the user needs to have here. He is importing the libraries and Wow, I know the plugin is small and I also know its functionality is limited uh, It just to, does one thing, but look at the code. Look at the style. He is coding in he has created uh, Zeke if you're watching this I really appreciate uh, the code and the programming style that you have and it's nice it's it's very easy to understand and make others understand as well so this uh, here you know it's just a for loop which is breaking the character one by one and printing them with a sleep of n seconds it's a great it's great and then he has a separate function for help menu and uh, this is actually a good input from anik i think he has given uh, this style of creating a help menu separately from the main function and uh, here in the end uh, you can see the main function is there which is checking if the arguments count is less than three it is just displaying the help menu and going back and then otherwise it is just calling the function and wow what a simple program easy to understand but never confuse simple with easy 
it 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 must have taken some time but amazing awesome so yeah that's pretty much all i think from my site you can download it from the link given in the description and uh, yeah if you have any thoughts leave them in the comments and do subscribe bye bye see you